Hello everybody. Um, welcome to my video for today. Sorry I didn't make one the last couple days. Um, I had a lot going on with um, starting a temp job and some um, sanctions that have gone down here in uh, specifically my city. My city's lockdown is worse than the rest of the states when it comes to um, the thing we're not supposed to talk about on Facebook, but everybody wants to talk about it because it's current events. And um, I don't know if me talking about it will get me demonetized, well, not allow me to get monetization, but oh, I don't, oh, it doesn't even matter. I don't care. I don't care. Um, coronavirus has put my city on lockdown because our infection rate here in Norman, Oklahoma is more than double the uh, infection rate for the whole country. <laughs> so, um, while we are only a town of 128,000 or something like that, it might be more now, but the last census showed it at 128,000, um, or the last time it was checked, uh, according to Siri, um, cause I checked with her when I was at work today cause we were talking about it, but, um, our infection rate is more than double because I, I think the, um, I don't remember, I, I need to find that article again so I can actually share it on here, um, correctly but what i read was something like the national average is like five percent and ours is 13 percent so um yeah scary um so they put the city on lockdown for 21 days and um it means only essential people are allowed to be out on the streets um and you have to have like a pass from your work to say that that's what you're doing or unless you're going to the supermarket the bank or the pharmacy those are the only three that allow everybody else to come out but if you get caught out on the street um when you're not supposed to be you will get a 750 dollar fine so um things are getting really serious here and the temp shop that i got is of course an essential job so Bum, ba, da, ba. I get to keep on putting myself in danger and my family in danger. I'm super excited about it. Um, but I'm hoping since it's going to be so slow, given the job that it is, um, that maybe after a few days of it being completely dead, she'll want to save money and not um, be open. So um, it's just going to be a very precarious two weeks because that's how long my contract is. It's for a um, drug screening um, office. Um, people who are in drug court or um, have had a run-in with DHS with having drugs and alcohol around their kids and um, job screenings and stuff like that. So um, basically, um, the way the drug courts and DHS stuff is, is that I have to watch it go into the cup from the penis. So um, I've been staring at penises two days in a row now. And, um, it's like through a little door hole in the wall. Like I'm in the lab side and they're in the bathroom and there's just like this little door. It's about this big. And I just have to stand here and look through it and make sure I see that they're not, you know, doing something that they shouldn't do. Like getting this, like people can like scratch stuff under their fingernails. And, um, it, uh, um, whenever... I get, make sure that they don't pee onto their hands because once that stuff goes into the urine, it'll um, um, make the tests um, show no drugs. Um, so I have to watch for that. I have to make sure they're not using fake pee in a bag. So I have to see it go from the penis into the cup. And let me tell you what, for people who have been doing it for a long time, they still do not like people watching them pee. And they will try to hide. And I'm like, sorry, I got to see it. Not, not that I want to. And believe me, I do not want to. There was not one single cute guy who has come in in the last two days. Now, some of them are, you know, but I don't, I'm not one to get excited about dick. Like, I am a size queen. Um, but looking at someone's penis is not like, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. I, it's, it's not sexy. But it's an easy job, like, I mean, it's seriously easy, but the, um, the courts ordered all drug testing to stop for the, for the interim. 
And so like, we're not gonna, like almost nobody came in today. I think I saw four guys in an eight hour and 45 minute shift. So um, it's just, um, you know, a, um, a lot of penises the first day and now not so many. And it's probably not gonna be a whole lot more for the next two weeks as long as we stay open. So that's fun. And another added bonus is that I have to do online meetings now. And I actually got, just got done with an online meeting. And um, for AA, that is. Um, I know I'm not supposed to talk about or promote. And I'm not promoting. I'm not saying if you have a loved one who is an addict, use AA. That's not what I'm saying. Um, and um, I... Um, had my online meeting and it was surprisingly okay. I've been like the online meetings for our clubhouse started like a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago. And, um, I was very adamant that I was going to show up in person no matter what, because if there's a newcomer coming in, they need people there. And now that I can't go, I did my first online meeting tonight and I actually really liked it. Um, you're sitting at home and you're comfortable, still seeing all the same people that you see at the meetings. Um, it's, yeah, it's good. And what I don't like about it is that not everybody who goes to my clubhouse is doing the online meetings. So I'm not going to get to see the people that I normally see. Um, Chris was there, but I mean, that's, he's the one who set it up. So, I mean, that's the only reason why he was probably there. I mean, he, he doesn't want to do in-person meetings anymore anyways, but you know, he is a big proponent for us shutting our clubhouse down, um, to keep people from getting sick and people who actually go are wanting to keep it open for the newcomers. So there's just, there's arguments on both sides and it's just been really exhausting. Um, I am for keeping it open. Uh, we have so many safeguards in place to protect people. Like all of our seats in that place are six feet apart, which bum -ba -da -bum, makes room for 18 chairs. Although now we can't have gatherings of more than nine in the state of Oklahoma. So um, it's um, not going to be very big meetings there anymore. And so I, I'm very definite that the clubhouse is going to close until this is all over. Um, not sure when, but probably in the near future. And that just really sucks for people who rely on seeing people in like in person. Um, I'm one of those people. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised to see how the meeting went tonight and, and how that went. I, um, I'm assuming that some of the people who are going to do online meetings are available more so i'm going to see people who i don't see as often in these online meetings so it's i mean it's it's just going to be like um like a little bit of a trade but i imagine once the clubhouse closes um everybody will pick up the meetings and um sorry i guess i this is going to be really gross super gross so gross um i had an ingrown hair on my forearm and i pinched it and it popped and now it's bleeding and I can't get it to stop bleeding. So that's why I keep on doing this because I'm um, being really gross, even grosser, and wiping the blood somewhere else because <laughs> I don't want it on the side of my bed. So I'm wiping it on the underside of my bed. So yeah, I'm one of those people. Um, no table is safe from boogers. Just kidding. That's gross. No. I have to be honest, living in a, a, an honest program, I do pick my nose, but I don't stick it under places anymore. I, well, sometimes I flick them, but. <laughs> um, I don't know how I got to talking about boogers. Oh, the blood. Um, yeah. Wow, this this video has really gone off the rails. I like had to like, I was like, I'm gonna talk about, you know, how this lockdown's affecting me and um, how AA meetings are going. And like, here I am talking about blood and boogers. I mean, like, that's what you get when you come to Drusifer's Idiocracy. Like, that's why I named my channel this, because I am so ADHD that, um, I, I'm surprised I caught myself 
um, um, from talking about blood and boogers more before I was like, whoa, we're off topic. Um, sometimes in the past, before I, I got on my new ADHD medication, which is a much higher dose, more blood, um, um, I was, it was terrible. Like me talking in meetings was like, I was all over the place, but now that I'm on a higher dose, it's a lot better. And my hyperactivity is like almost to zero. It's not completely zero because I take a medication that causes akathisia, which looks like hyperactivity. So I think what little I have going on right now is just the akathisia. And akathisia is like restless leg syndrome, the, the inability to not keep your body from moving, which is very much like ADHD. So, oh, my mom just texted me and reminded me that I have to get to the pharmacy. Oh my God. Oh, did I have a booger hanging from my nose? If that was, that's so gross. But I don't see anything. Huh. Nope. Maybe I just saw things in the... Is it, it this... Oh, God. Why do I have to talk about boogers? Blood, blood hap happens, but boogers. And I told you I picked my nose. Oh, my God. Huh. <sighs> Well, this channel will be immediately deleted after this video. Um, not really. Just joking. Just joking. Uh, people like it that I'm real. And um, this video is me being very real. Not like that talk show, The Real. Because um, those are sassy women of color. Um, the real that you're getting is me unfiltered and um, unscripted, which I'm usually pretty unscripted, but I try to have like a set thing. I'm gonna talk about like this one thing and, and talk about it. But um, yeah, tonight I'm just gonna riff in it. So um, yeah, blood. No, just kidding, I'm not gonna talk, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got. I'm just really concerned about my sister. She thinks she might've caught in it or caught it. Um.